Are you ready to hear a great love story? No, not between these two goobers. Between these two. Well, this little guy is part of the equation, too. Completely by random chance, our path crossed with Joel again. Yeah, that Joel. We became like family in Baja, Mexico. And now our paths cross again in Canada? And quite a lot has happened in Joel's world. We can't wait to share this story with you. Okay, so let's back way up. It's 2021 and we're in Baja, Mexico. Again, by random chance, our paths cross with Juel, who is traveling the world on his motorbike. We became like family, and during our time together, Juel adopts little Manolo. Ugh, he was so cute. Still is. After a great time together, Juel and Manolo head off to keep traveling the world. Yep, Manolo too. He even has goggles. Joel and Manolo travel all the way to British Columbia. It's a heck of a journey, all documented on YouTube, by the way, so you should definitely follow them. Then they make their way all the way over to Montreal, where Joel only plans to stay for a couple of days. But then he meets Patty and a whole crew of awesome friends. And he decides, you know, the whole mission of my project is to enjoy life. And here I am, surrounded by a lot of love. I'm sticking around for a while. Fast forward seven months, and Juel and Manolo are two short weeks away from flying to Europe to continue their motorcycle trip around the world. And then... Joel is here! <laughs> oh. 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 Is that? <laughs> <laughs> so we hang out to watch the show together, which is pretty awesome, by the way. Kids of Quebec got talent. We have been in the Montreal area for five days now and we haven't been able to go and see downtown and check out the city but we're changing that today because we are on our way downtown to meet with our friends Joel and his girlfriend Patty they're gonna take us out for dinner and show us around their neighborhood yeah I'm really excited I've always wanted to see Montreal This here is a great example why we love having little Sanchito. Driving downtown and finding parking in the bus? Whew, no way, Jose. It's cool murals. And we made it! That's Joel's motorbike right there. We recognize that bike from Baja. Estamos aquí con Joel y con Manolo. Hola, sí, buenas tardes. Estamos aquí. Vamos a ir a caminar a Oldport, Montreal. Tengo entendido que es la ciudad más vieja de Canadá. ¿Cierto? ¿Qué? No sé si es que hace eso. No, 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 no. 
La chinesa, por favor. Patty is in Montreal getting her master's in construction engineering. She's from the city of Chihuahua in the Mexican state of Chihuahua. Joel actually grew up in Ciudad Juarez, just four hours north of Chihuahua. Crazy that they had to go all the way to Canada to finally find each other. Sounds like another pair that I know of. It makes me think of Soho. It's beautiful. I love the architecture. Really beautiful architecture here. This is one of our favorite things of just getting to see a new city. Uh, we just love this kind of stuff. It's beautiful. The architecture is just beautiful. It's really cool to be on the road long enough to start to reconnect with people along the way. Like to have reconnected now with Steps Over and now to reconnect with Juer and knowing that, you know, probably in the next year or so we're gonna reconnect with Bea. It's just really cool, you know, it's just a cool life. Isn't it beautiful? Increíble. Sí, sí. Hay un lugar donde pueden hoteles. Entonces para reciprocar. Con todo lo que se quedaron para hacer el el subterráneo, Joel, hay que hay que verificarla. Entonces un ciclito sin. Pero estamos en Montreal, necesitamos el tour el tour en francés. Ah. A ver, Patricia. Oh, 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 o
Larmak. Oh, this is cool. A little marsh, a little bog. Found the source of the mosquitoes. This is one of the things I really love about my nomadic life is that every time I go on a walk, it can be in a different place. Every single time I've lived in a new place, I would find my walk, enjoy it for a couple weeks. And then after that, I just get kind of bored because it's the same thing over and over. With life on the road, I can have a new walk in a new different place every time. And it keeps it exciting for me. And it's one of the little things about living nomadic that I really love. Uh-huh. See, so this sign is, is talking about the trilliums and how you should not pick them. All right, so now I head back. I hope you enjoyed this little jaunt through the woods. I hope that wherever you are, you are able to step away from the work for just a tiny little moment go on your own little walk, wherever it may happen to be, in a park, around your block, in the woods, behind your house, and just enjoy a little bit of time out there before heading back to the grind. Pues aquí estamos, here we are, ready to hit the road. Yes, Yay. we're so excited, it's actually like a movie. <laughs> Vámonolo. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna drive behind in the car, but you guys get the adventure of driving yes. the bus. Yes, this I think a, that's it. A totally new experience for us. Yeah. Listo, chicos. Listo. Vamos. Vamos. We are heading out of the city with Patty, Joel, and Manolo. We are driving 36 miles out of town to Doca National Park for a weekend camping trip together. We are almost our destination but we had to do a quick stop to refill our propane tank because it's almost empty what do you guys think Perfecto. fun right <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice because it's like it's uh we got our propane tank full so now we are on the way to the park for us ahead of us trying to get the campsite ready. It's pretty awesome how close the big city is to this national park. It must be quite the weekend refuge for Montrealers. There's one thing we didn't bargain for, though. ¿Cómo les va con los mosquitos, chicos? Son grandes. Ponme la espalda, Tengo miedo. Ah, estoy fría. Padrísimo. Wow. anda contento. Okay, um, ya conecté todo, everything is, is hooked up, so... We just spent a nice little time visiting inside the bus, and now we're gonna go check out what beaches they have around here. Apparently there are beaches. But it's been raining, so now it's stopped raining, so we're gonna go 
find the playa. <laughs> Manolo, la playa está para allá. Encontramos el, la playa, ajá. ¿eh? Manolito. No, 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 la playa está para acá. <laughs> no, 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 está. Ay, ay. <laughs> This is a really cool experience for us because to be from the beaches of Baja to this landscape is just a completely different world. And then to reconnect with a friend that you met in this other different world and, and, and to know that you both are on these different journeys and that your journeys got to cross paths again. It's like a, a good reflection that the, the best things in life are your friendships that you make. So. It's really nice to be with a friend again. Woo! The mosquitoes are brutal. They're so bad. They're like... Ah, no. <laughs> no puedo ver. Oh, yeah, like... oh, they're really bad. If Alaska's gonna be like this, I don't wanna go. <laughs> I think Alaska's gonna be like this. I don't wanna go. Let's go back south. <laughs> Woo! If only you guys could see them, it's just like a cloud of mosquitoes around us. They're following us like we're dinner. Oh, mosquitoes. Are you going to go in there? Uh, I'm going to walk uh, as far as I can. No, no, no. Me duele el cuerpo del que hace. No. Ok. Ya, no se sniza. Entra el agua. No, señor Martín María. Es que es Martín. Es el agua. I'm enjoying the water from right here. I just get a little bit of it on my toes. Y ya está. Estoy feliz. No tengo que meterme más. Dos. Y dos. Manolo! Come here! Come here! Wow! Ay, ay, ay. Manolo! Do it again, buddy! Oh my gosh, he's so happy. Wow! Manolo! Come here! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he's coming. <laughs> this is a beautiful spot. This is not too far from Montreal. It's like 45 minutes with good traffic from Montreal. Very beautiful place to find ourselves in. Especially with good friends. <laughs> so bad. They're everywhere. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about being with friends. Even when you're being absolutely swarmed by little tiny terrorists, you still feel happy that you're with your friends. Simba, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> the mosquitoes are way too crazy outside, so we decided to grill inside and we're making some choripanes. If there's one word to describe what happens next, it would be food. Food, food, and more food. What do you do when you are confined to your RV because the nature outside is swarming with tiny little demons? You make food. Lots of food. Good food. And if you haven't caught the drift yet, Jose is really good at food. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sí, perro, pero wow, can. Mm. Oh, wow. We are basically eating our way through the weekend. It's awesome. Esto, oigan, esto es el escampine. Es el camarón, es este, la, el aceite. Muchas gracias. Increíble. And when we aren't eating, we're just hanging out, catching up, playing games. And then the sun goes down, the mosquitoes go to sleep, thank God. And we can watch movies and have a campfire. Oh, no, 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 no,
Hola, hermano, otro. Los quiero mucho. Mm, en serio, muchísimas gracias. Por abrir las, las puertas a esta sí, sí. muy bonita casa. Gracias, <risa> me encantó. Nos veremos otra vez, van a ver. Uh -huh. No saben que sí, en ¿ok? Ay, no no, ay, sí, no es reunión conmigo. <risa> Our reunion was short, but oh, so, so sweet. Still cannot believe the stars aligned to have our paths cross again. And what an awesome treat to meet and become good friends with Patti. And to catch just a glimpse of this special moment in their story. Now in less than a week, Joel, Manolo and the motorbike are boarding a plane for Europe to continue their trip around the world. And we know what you're thinking. And Patti? Huh. Distance isn't enough to stop these two. If you don't believe us, just go follow them. You'll see how beautifully their story continues to unfold. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like. Subscribe to our channel. Send us a comment below. And for exclusive content and a behind the scenes view of the Art Be There Yet journey, join us on Patreon. See you over on Patreon.